We'll call the meeting to order. Shall we rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First item this evening is to recognize the retirement of Officer Joseph Hopkins in our police department. Mr. Walker. Um, Joe couldn't be with us this evening, but we did want to recognize him. Uh, he retired the end of July after 29 years of service with Horsham Township's police department. Um, and we just wanted to recognize him for his service uh, to our township and, and community. He did a great job, um, you know, um, with the department, and uh, we wish him a long, healthy, happy retirement. Chief, do you have anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I mean, Mr. Walker said it most, but I can just tell you, you know, um, Joe was one of those guys, I've never seen him angry, cool, calm, collected, always smiling, um, good for a joke every now and then, uh, Just, just, a really enjoyable guy to work with, kept things light, very dedicated. He lived in the town for quite some time, uh, only moved away because he had to take care of family members. Um, and it seems like, you know, it's, it's a little weird being in the position that I'm in. I see these mentors of mine that are leaving, um, and it's a little bittersweet. So we will miss him, and we wish him the best of luck. And I, I spoke to him uh, just a few days ago, and he really wished he could be here tonight. He's sorry he missed it. But um, he's very proud of his career, and we're proud to have had had him here for as long as we did. Uh, we have a proclamation we'd like to read. Whereas it is with great pleasure that we recognize Joseph Hopkins for his 29 years of devotion and service to our community on the occasion of his retirement from our police department. And whereas Joe Hopkins began his career as a police officer with the Horsham Township Police Department in 1995, where he was a member of the patrol division and the highway safety unit as a certified crash reconstructionist. And whereas, having graduated from North Penn High School, Joe then attended Kutztown University, where he received a BS in criminal justice, and while doing so, worked as seasonal help during the summer at Hatfield Borough. During his career, Joe has received two unit commendation letters Two commendations for bravery, a commendation for his involvement in the apprehension of a burglary suspect, and numerous thank you letters from the public over the years. And whereas his service brings great credit to himself, his wife Tammy, his two children Jacob and Callie, and Horsham Township, Joseph Hopkins has forever left a favorable impression on those who have had the pleasure of working with him, and on the township he has served so well. And whereas, on the occasion of his retirement, we extend to Joe our best wishes for success in all of his future endeavors. Good luck, Joe. All right, next item would be opportunity for questions and comments from the public. Questions, we'll move on to approval of the minutes. We need to have a motion to approve the minutes. I move to approve the minutes as presented. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, next would be to have the treasurer's report. The balance in the general fund as of July 31st, 2024 is $6,045,829.39. For the most part, the activity in all funds reflects budget expectations for July, with the revenues in the general fund at 83.06% of budget and expenditures at 54.91% of budget. For a more detailed presentation of our current financial position, I would refer you to your monthly booklet. All right. Do we have a motion to approve the list of checks? I move to ratify the list of checks in the capital improvement fund in the amount of Eight hundred and thirty-one thousand eight hundred eighty-two dollars and sixteen cents, and further move to authorize payment of the same. I move to author to approve the list of checks and all funds in the amount of two million four hundred twenty-two thousand seven hundred and sixteen dollars and eighty-four cents, and further move to authorize payment of the same. I move to ratify the U.S. Bank credit card transactions for the month of July, twenty twenty-four, in the amount of nine thousand one hundred forty dollars and ninety-four cents. 
Second. Second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 Nice have it. Next item is to review a request for waiver of land development from the Miracle Field of Horsham to construct a Miracle Field in Deep Meadow Park, 1020 Horsham Road. Mr. Slaymaker. <laughs> if not, no big deal. Um, sure. So, good evening, everyone. Uh, William Slaymaker, president of Miracle Field of Horsham. It's uh, very nice to see you all again. This is probably about the tenth time I've spoken to all of you. Um, but it's an exciting time for our organization as we get closer to our field build. Um, we have a presentation for you that we'll share tonight and just uh, some news that's um, of some of the happenings. We have a couple grant opportunities that are in play that we should hear more about in the coming months. Um, and we have our build plans and we are approaching a phase where we feel like we can start potentially taking trees down and moving ahead with the construction phase. So it's a very exciting time for us. Uh, and as I like to say, we started this project about three years ago. We did not have a bank account and we did not have 501c3 status. And we've shepherded this thing along over the years. It's three years in the making. We have eight board members that I could not be more proud of. And uh, we are probably within a year of building the finest miracle field in the country right here in Horsham. And with that, I filibustered as long as I could. <laughs> That's a good word. You never make it. You never make it in Washington. It should be gone. Is the suspense killing you yet? Because it's so great when you see it. When you tell, when you get it, let me know then. It's okay. Anyway, I'll just start talking while you need we a do mic. that. Here, here, here it comes. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna Okay, good. So what we're gonna do today is go over a little bit of where we were and where we've come. Um, show you the original site plan. So we've done a lot to change kind of what our original thinking was and with the community's help gotten to where we are now um, and show you kind of the next steps in the plan. Um, so where we were three years ago, as Bill said, was we didn't have an organization. We didn't have, we just had Bill and I. Oh, thanks, Dennis. This is gonna be a little bit more helpful. So you can go to slide three, please. So in, we started this in 2021. Um, the first thing we did was we created the Miracle Field of Horsham as a corporation. We filed for 501c3 status. Um, we confirmed the field location and we engaged with state and local government. Um, and since then, the township has been great partners in, the, uh, in this endeavor. The next step and the next year was really all about getting a board together creating the website and continuing to engage with state and local government and we actually got awarded our first grant in 2022. Then we needed to expand the board so it was no longer just Bill and I trying to get this off the ground. We added two new board members. Um, we engaged with Hearth Builders at that time to start really figuring out what the field should look like. So we had an idea of what we wanted it to look like, but now it was time to get people who kind of knew how to build things in play because we needed to go for permits. And without having people that understood the building process, we could never apply for the permit. So we got engaged with hearth builders um, to actually design the field as well as the outbuildings and you're going to see that in a middle, minute. Um, we did get an additional state grant and at the end of 2023 we're, we, and the beginning of 2024 we were able to file for the NPDES. 
um, permit. So here we are in 2024. So it's been three years, which is kind of hard for all of us to believe. We have expanded our board again. So now we are a total of nine. Um, and the reason we continue to expand the board is now we have lots of jobs to do. So there's lots of marketing to do. Um, the field build is gonna take an incredible amount of attention and focus. Um, so our board is now nine strong. We, can, we are continuing to do many community meetings because this isn't our field, it's the community's field. So we wanna make sure there's community engagement from the very beginning when we did the design all the way through until the very end when we open the field um, and through to as we're su serving the different communities what we can do with the field, what is you know the art of the possible and everything in between. And we did our groundbreaking um, in April which was a great event and many of you guys were there. Uh, and it was a nice culmination of everything that kind of has happened throughout the last three years. Dennis, could you go to the next slide? So here's our phased approach because we realize that we can't do everything all at once. Um, so first is the field complex because Bill and I keep saying to ourselves, correct me if I'm wrong, we signed up to build a field. So the first thing we're gonna do is build a field. That's phase one. Um, so the field, the dugouts, if we can, the lighting um, and the bathrooms. That's hopefully what we can do in phase one. We're waiting to get the final estimates um, from our general contractor on what that's gonna cost. Um, but we're hoping that can be our phase one. Then the playground area. So this now is the next phase of the project to redo the playground that is in um, Deep Meadow right now to make it ADA compliant, visible from the field and built for all abilities. So it's in our plans to do that. We can't do everything all at once. So playground would be phase two. And then a, the concession area. So we're working with Horsham Little League and the township to make sure that that concession area is again, ADA compliant, compliant serving the entire complex, not just the Miracle Field, but of course all of Deep Meadow. Um, and there's possibilities of auxiliary programs that can benefit the communities that we serve um, as the Miracle Field, but you know, working with our partners at, um, in the baseball community as well. Next slide, please. So this was our initial field rendering. If we go back to 2022, this was our initial glimpse of what the field would look like. Um, when we first came to talk to you, this is all we had. This was our picture. And if you, we go to the next slide, this was what Hearth was able to do for us. And I'm gonna stand, hopefully I'll be able to project, but I like to stand, we'll see. Okay, I'll pick it up. I got it. All right. So this is the field, right? We're, we signed up to build a field, so this is the field. How big is it, Bill? 225 feet the center field. That is larger than a uh, college softball field. So the reason that we're making it this size is so that it doesn't just serve the small members of our community, but it serves the adult members of our community. Um, so again, we're putting thought into all of the things that the field can do, not just certain things that the field can do. Here are our dugouts. This little building right here is our announcer's booth. We're hoping that it can be open from the front and from the back so that you can see all the way around the field. You, there won't be any encumbrances for people trying to see the game. Right here are three bathrooms. So this, we got a lot of 
community feedback on. The first bathroom, we're hoping to have um, a, an adult-sized changing table, which is one of the requests we got from the community, because that's something that would be useful for, for the people who would be using that facility, as well as a shower. The other two would just be single stalls that people could use. Next to that would be a storage area and what we're calling kind of a sales area, not to be confused with a separate concession area. What we don't wanna do is separate this area from the rest of the field. So the concession area would be the same concession area that everyone else would use. Um, the first piece of feedback that we got from all of the people that are using the field is we feel separated from everybody else. So we intentionally put the field in the middle of the park and we are intentionally not making this its own separate concession area that only Miracle Field people can use. Right here is what we call our valet area. So when people come in, and this is all people that are using the park, they can come in, there are gonna be three drop-off places for people to come in, drop off, come out, and then park. So if you wanted to drop off and go to the Miracle Field, you could drop off equipment, drop off and go to any other place in the park, you could do that. Right here is a new picnic area. Again, this probably will have to be phase two, um, but this again would have good sight lines into the baseball field. And here is the footprint of the existing playground. So this would probably be a similar footprint to where the new playground would be in phase two. The other thing we've added is a sensory area. So one of the other pieces of feedback we got was this would be wonderful, but some of the people that are using the field need some quiet time, either indoors or outdoors. So behind the storage area is a small little room. We'll make an indoor sensory area. And then there's two little pockets on the outsides of the buildings that we can do sensory gardens on the outside. So they'll have places to go if they need that quiet space. The dugouts are gonna be next to the stand. So you'll see dugout, and then you'll see, there's the dugout, and then you'll see some stands. There is a gate right here that divides the two. So if people that are with the players would like to help, they can. If they want to be near them, they can. Or they can sit separately in their stands. Again, trying to accommodate all different kinds of families and helpers and people who would be accompanying these players um, in all different kinds of ways. You'll see that the stands are stadium seating. So there are actual seating available. And you can also bring your chair because I've gone to my kids' games and there are some people who really love their folding chairs. So you can bring your chair and sit right in the front and you're not gonna obstruct anybody's view if you wanna sit in the front and have your chair as well. The entire field is surrounded by a fence. The entire area is also surrounded by a fence. That was also at the request of some of our community members because they didn't wanna worry about people wandering outside of the area. Um, so there will be extra fencing around the entire area. Bill, what am I missing? The only thing I would add is that, um, I would just add that uh, we reached out to other Miracle Fields throughout the country. We reached out to one in Arizona specifically and they shared their plans with us, their build plans. Um, and there are a lot of cool little features that they implemented in Arizona that, that we did here, including the sensory room. I personally visited the Miracle Field in Atlanta, the very first one built. They have that sensory room. It's a thing that most new fields are doing. Um, and the proximity of bathrooms is another thing that was uh, considered through 
um, the Arizona Miracle Field. And you, when you walk in to the complex, this area will have a little walkway. Um, we'd like to sell bricks. Just gonna plant the seed now. We'd like to sell little bricks for people to donate so each member of the community can have a little piece of themselves um, in, the, in the entranceway of the Miracle Field so we can all be a part of this great thing that we're building together. Next slide, please, Dennis. So what questions do you have for us? Fantastic presentation, both. Thank you for, for coming and highlighting all the great work that you've been doing over the past three or four years. It's, it's phenomenal what you've um, been able to accomplish, so kudos. Um, Dennis, can you go back to the last slide? I just had a question. The, the valet parking, is that going to be part of phase one, two? Is the... Yeah. This area? Yes. yes. Yes, we're hoping that we can do this area as well, um, and that it will be part of the phase one. And then I'm just trying to think of where everything is at the park currently and what it looks like here. So will the existing playgrounds need to come out during phase one? As far as we know now, the existing playground does not need to come out. Okay. But we'll know more when we have a full look at the space and we'll know about the, we have to understand what we need to do from a, a water remediation perspective. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be able to answer that 100%. Okay, cool. If I could just jump in. Yeah. Your plans, the, the engineered plans, don't have any grading of the existing playground so it can stay. Okay. And the, like the, the front part of the playground, it's not where that, Parking site, like, you know where they have, like, the um, pull-up bar? Yeah, so there's there's two, there's an exercise area yes. right here. Okay. If we're able to do the valet, the exercise area will have to move. Will come out, okay. Um, the playground, which is by um, the, the straight part of the path. So if mm -hmm. you're walking the path, you come around and there's a straight part of the path right before the pavilion. Mm -hmm. Do you know which por portion I'm yep. talking about? Yep. That's the playground that I'm referring to. Okay, and that'll stay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just on that fitness area, we're working on uh, providing adequate fitness capability uh, if we do have to alter the footprint of the current fitness equipment. Anybody have any other questions? Yes, Thank sir. you for that. Now, what are we going to? What are, are we doing about about the resolution? How's that process going to work for us? Um, so tonight's just a review, and at your next meeting, um, at your August meeting, um, you will approve the resolution for the waiver of land development. That's good. Are there any conditions on the waiver of land development, or is there anything that? Um, has been promised that should be part of the resolution, or can we talk? We'll talk about that later. Yeah, I, not not that I can. You know, I'm trying to also think what we put on the soccer association resolution too. And I'm, and I'm sure there are um, engineer plans somewhere. And and Eric, although they you didn't you you I think believe you helped draft them, you didn't review them. I'll need the plan information so I can recite that in the resolution. Are the trees being replaced? I'm sorry? Are the trees being replaced? Yeah, we're going to, um, that's something that um, the township will do, um, working with um, Little League on where, what fields they're keeping and what fields they're not keeping. Um, there's a lot of moving parts, but yes. Oh, okay. Yes, there will be, um, there are a lot of trees coming down and, and we've been, we've committed ourselves to replace those trees in, in, the, in the park. I don't know if Eric, you want to say anything about stormwater? If you anyone finish. want to hear about stormwater? No. Always. Um, <laughs> the only thing I would add be before I get to the exciting stormwater, uh, which is like I think a cool little feature, is 
outside the outfield wall, there's like a six to eight foot tall hill from a grading perspective. So you can kind of sit on the hill in the outfield and still watch the game too. So nice little feature to be able to see from not just behind the you know home plate, but yeah. also in the outfield there. Uh, as far so stormwater. Um, because this is an over an acre of disturbance, uh, a Pennsylvania DEP MPDES <laughs> permits required. Nancy touched on it earlier. Um, we've been working on that application and these plans uh, through the course of 2024. We are hoping, two fingers crossed, that we should have that approval, you know, any week now. Um, and uh, the MPDES permit uh, with the Conservation District is the stormwater permit, and uh, there are basins proposed down closer to Horsham Road, uh, as far away as we could get from the field, but also at the bottom of the hill there, Bill's pointing to it, um, to cover, uh, just like we did with the Soccer Association and the school district fields, all of these synthetic turf fields are considered impervious because the water goes right through them and has to go somewhere. Um, so that, that triggers the need for stormwater management as well as the, the parking lot, which right now is stone, uh, is getting paved and, um, Though you can't see it in a two-dimensional uh, plan, that parking lot's going to look a lot different because it's a Miracle League field, so it needs to be a lot flatter than it is today. If you go out there, you don't realize how steep it is. So um, those are the reasons for the permit. Uh, that's the kind of the big overview of it. I'm not going to get into the nitty-gritty details about where all the inlets are and pipes and that kind of stuff. But we'd be happy to answer any questions on that if anyone has them. We're good. Got it. <laughs> Anything else on this? Not. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you at the next meeting. Our next item is to consider a resolution establishing a time and a place for a public hearing on the Payon Brothers Horsham LLC, 726 Norristown Road, conditional use application, 24-10-CU, uh, Wednesday, September 11th, 2024, at 7:45 p.m. in the Horsham Township Municipal Building, 1025 Horsham Road. Um, the council's already approved a sewer line and a recreational trail and bridge to um, cross the repairing corridor. Um, this application um, is in the same area, and it's for a water line. So more to come during the public hearing. We have a motion. I move to adopt the resolution as proposed, establishing a time and place for a public hearing on the Payman Brothers Horsham LLC, 726 Norristown Road, conditional use application, Wednesday, September 11th, 2024, at 7.45 p.m. in the Horsham Township Municipal Building. Second. Moved and seconded. It's a roll call vote. Ms. Harmon, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Slaff, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Wade, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Chunky, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Whiteside, how do you vote? I vote aye. Motion passes unanimously. All right. Next on our last item, makes me very sad to announce that we have to consider the resignation of Township Councilwoman Teresa Harmon because she's moving. Yeah. Terry, do you have anything you'd like to say? Sure, yeah. Thanks, Bill. Um, I just, take this off. I'm just, um, it, it definitely is not an easy decision. Um, this has been um, quite an honor to serve Horsham. Um, I'm grateful to my board members up here and my the past board members as well. I want to mention Mark and Greg because they were really terrific mentors to me. Um, and Bill, you've been on for so long. And um, what this township is, is not just one or two or three years of being on a board. It's years of planning and I've learned so much um, and I'm so impressed and proud and I, I hope that's always the case with Horsham. I hope um, future, current future, 10, 20 years from now stays the same. I don't want it to change at all, um, the direction of this amazing township. I want to thank Mary and Eric and Dennis and of course you, Bill, um, Larry Byrne, the, he's not here, but um, just such a great group of people. And I'm just want to also thank the residents for the honor of serving them. And um, I will miss all of you very much. I'm not going far, so I will be back. Um, but I just am so grateful to all of you. And thank you so much for a great three years, almost three years. Harry, I'd like to say um, 
I've always appreciated the fact that you were more than just a body in a seat. You understood, learned the things that we were trying to accomplish, helped mold the township, and I've always appreciated that. We're going to miss you. Thank you, Bill. Anybody else have anything they'd like to say? I'm sorry we didn't get to work together longer. It's been such a pleasure these past eight months, um, and I wish you nothing but the best, but I'm really sad to see you go. I already asked if we could say no on her resignation, and the answer was no. Well, with that in mind, do you have a comment? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Terry, we came on together. Um, it's sad to see you go, but I'm happy for you guys. I think it's really exciting that you guys are embarking on the next chapter, and I uh, hope to see you. You will. Thank you, Sean. I enjoyed it, too, with you. And we will we will uh, have you back, Terry, to give you your formal gift um, to at another council meeting, and that's when I give my two-hour um, you know, <laughs> speech. So, but thank you, thank you for your service. You know, I know you were on the school board before council. Um, you raised your family here, um, and uh, it's a big step for you and and your husband and 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 family. So, um, it's not it's not easy sometimes, but life and time marches on. So. Um, again, thank you for all that you've done, not just on the school board and council, but I know you were involved with a lot as your three sons were growing up and all the extracurricular activities that they were involved with, you were involved with. So you were a member of this community for 25 years and we appreciate you, we appreciate your family and thank you for all that you've done uh, for us. So we wish you the best. Thank you, and I, I do want to say one more thing. Um, my husband Dan is here, and my oldest Danny is here. Um, we've been here, as you know, for 24 years. Our oldest is 24, <laughs> so it's the only community that our kids have ever known, and Dan and I were welcomed with open arms when we moved here 24 years ago, and I just love Horsham, and I hope it never changes. So thank you all so much. I move to accept the resignation of Horsham Township Councilwoman Teresa Harmon due to her relocation outside of the township. Second. It's been moved and seconded. This is a roll call vote, Mr. Walker. Ms. Harmon, how do you vote? Vote aye. Ms. Laff, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Wade, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Chunky, how do you vote? Aye. And Mr. Whiteside, how do you vote? I vote aye. Motion passes unanimously. Aye. Right. The next item is adjournment, but before we do, I have a few announcements. Our Carpenter Cross bike race is Saturday, September the 21st, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. in Deep Meadow Park. The Horsham Township Eco event is Saturday, October the 5th, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Township Municipal Complex, uh, tree giveaway, e-waste recycling, and shredding event. And the next Horsham Council meeting will be on Monday, August the 26th at 7 p.m. And one final item is, we want to make notes so everybody's aware, our restaurant week will be September the 15th through the 21st this year. So do we have a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn the meeting. Second. Move and seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.